there is a word in today's gospel that really stands out to me. And the word is excuses. Excuses. Think about the parable. The, the Lord, he made a banquet and he sent out his servant. People knew that the date was coming for the banquet. And then the servant went out again to remind people of the invitation they had received. And they started giving out their excuses. In the last moment, they gave the excuses. They waited for the dinner to be ready just to give their excuses. If they had been, you know, if they had good manners, they knew the date of the banquet. They, at least with anticipation, they could have let known that they wouldn't be able to make it to the banquet. But they waited for the last moment to give excuses. And look at the excuses they give. They say, I have a land. I have to go to a land. I've bought some oxen. I just married. All of the excuses they give, they are mm, made up excuses with no real consistency. And this makes me think of two things. Number one, and I'm the first one included, but I think that in many occasions, we love giving excuses. For example, we're going to be late to some place. We always have an excuse when we're late. Someone sends us an email or someone sends us a message and we don't re respond promptly. We have an excuse. We love giving excuses to other people. We're much more willing to give excuses than to say, I'm sorry. We always have an excuse to offer instead of saying, I'm sorry. And I insist, I'm the first one to be in this list of people who give excuses. But I think that the first takeaway that we could receive from this gospel is, am I giving too much excuses instead of just being humble and saying, I'm sorry, I made wrong decisions? But let, let's take this one step further. I think this gospel is also reminding us of the excuses that we give to God. What do I refer to? I think that God is always pushing us to be more generous with him. I think that in each one of our lives, there is always an invitation from God's behalf of how we can be more generous with our prayer time, with our mortification, with our abnegation, with our capacity to deny ourselves. In our hearts, I am absolutely sure if we're attentive enough, we'll be able to perceive an invitation from God of how you can be more absolutely of him and less of yourself. And you know what? And you know what? I can tell you in my own life, in many occasions, I also give him excuses. When he asks me, be more generous, how many times I, I tell him, I'm not ready yet. This is not the right time. I don't feel ready to be more generous with you. But I think that this gospel today can also be a reminder for each one of us, starting with me. Let's stop giving excuses to God when he's asking us to be more generous. And let's remind ourselves that when we say yes to God, and we, when we say no to ourselves, when we say yes to the invitation to the banquet, the only thing that we receive is joy, blessings, and the gift of the Holy Spirit. So today, let's be more willing to say I'm sorry instead of giving excuses. And let's also be more willing to say yes to the Lord instead of postponing his invitations and also finding excuses for him.